so welcome back to my channel i have not uploaded a video like a makeup video in a few months now i have been very busy as most of you will know i have i've explained this in a couple of videos but i've not done a makeup video in ages so that's why i'm just going to explain it in this video recently moved out we've been moved out about just over a month and i have a new job so like everything's been like at 100 miles an hour settled in and everything it's just obviously there's so much still to take in so i've not really had the time to do anything if you hear any loud noises it's because near us they're still doing building work so it's really loud so i really apologize about that but i really just wanted to upload a makeup video show you the sort of makeup i've been wearing recently Obviously I work for Bobbi Brown. I will just be including a couple of other things in this video uh, that I picked up whilst I was in London for our training. So some of the products have been given to me by the brand that I work for, but I love like the products. Like, but that is why I'm showing you them because I am gonna show you like how I apply them, all that sort of jazz. My camera is actually on two bars so let's hope it doesn't die that's why i'm just gonna jump in straight away i've already cleansed my face and everything then i'm gonna go in with my bobby brown hydrating eye cream i use this every single day especially when i'm on a walk early i find it's like the best thing to wake me up so just literally grab the tiniest bit and then i'm just gonna use my ring fingers and just sort of just warm up the product then i'm just gonna apply that underneath my eyes really helps to wake me up in the morning and it's nice and hydrating which is what I need because I get very dry underneath my eyes but on my lids as well I am gonna pop some lashes on I think in this look because I haven't worn lashes in ages I actually haven't worn them for like almost two months if you know me I used to wear lashes like every single day <laughs> it's been a big change absolutely loving my job like it's actually so strange to be able to say I'm just now going in with the Vitamin Enriched Face Base by Bobbi Brown. All our moisturisers have primer infused in them, so they're so good. And this one's so nice, it's, it's got vitamin B, C and E. So I'm just literally pushing this into my skin. It literally smells gorgeous. If you haven't smelt this, go to a counter. It's like people outside, walking past window. It's the only thing of being on the ground floor. So people can literally just see you. I've got neck curtains, thank god though. Such a lovely base for makeup. So yeah, it has that sort of like lemony sort of citrus smell. I can't explain how it makes your skin feel. Just makes it feel like baby soft. That is the skincare I apply beforehand. I am looking into getting some more skincare. Then I'm going to go in and do my brows. Brow pencils I love are actually by Primark. So I've got the Primark 3-in-1 brow and this has a pencil and a powder and a brush. I really like this but I find the angle on it does sort of go a bit weird. It's meant to be angled but it sort of goes round. That is why the one we do at Bobby Brown is better and I need to invest in it but at the moment I'm just using this. And then I use the brow sketch as well by Primark. This is like the skinny brow pencil. I think I'm just gonna use both of these products today. So yeah, everything's like so like different at the moment. It's weird to live on your own, but I actually love it. I really wondered how I'd like feel, but obviously I live with Craig. I don't just live on my own. We live together. But yeah, it's so weird to like not live with your mum. Uh, or my stepdad, but I love it. So I'm gonna go in with this one first. Got a coffee, obviously. Because when don't I have a coffee? Just brush all my brow hairs up. I need to pluck underneath my brow, but that's the time. I just like growing my brows out. I don't ever like touch the shape of them or anything. I literally just pluck around them. So then I just line underneath my brow. This is in dark brown. And I believe the other pencil is in the same colour too. This is just so easy. I just follow my natural shape. And sometimes I'll go around them with concealer, but to be honest, it does give you really good definition. Like I wouldn't say you necessary you need to go around it with concealer but i always sort of tend to carve my brows out unless i'm in a like a really like in a rush and i won't as you can see that was actually so easy probably won't need to use the brow sketch today but this brow is a bit different to my other one i sort of just have to make the end a little bit thicker as you could see 
It's because this one doesn't grow as well. And on the top, I love like thick brows. I think it defines your face a lot more. It looks more youthful as well. I don't really need to use the brow sketch too. I don't usually use two together. I only say like one of them was re running out, but just thought I'd show you the ones I sort of switch between. I'm filming in natural lighting again because literally if I use my ring light, everyone on the street could see me. I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light medium, just because the concealer I use at the moment will be the tiniest bit too dark. I use the e.l.f. concealer at the moment, which is really similar, but it is uh, mainly for when I'm got fake tan on. I still have tan on but let's try to scrub most of it off. And this concealer is a bit more hydrating than that one. Yeah it's been so sunny in England. Last week was like the hottest ever. So we had one day where it literally felt like the desert and considering obviously we never get like sun here like ever. It's like never hot. So obviously as like you can see I go over my lids with this just because my eyes do get quite dark. I'm just gonna blend that in with my finger. My lid. I love this concealer. I think it's like always my favourite concealer. Like I always go back to it when I haven't like used it in a while. I'm gonna keep my eyes quite plain. I was gonna use one of the cream shadow sticks on my lid, but I don't think I'm going to because day to day at work I would like the main focus to be like my, my lip colour. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do for my lips, but I am gonna pop a little bit of white liner in my lash line. So I might pop a bit of bronzer through my the crease of my eye. So, I'm literally just gonna pop some of Barley Brown, Bobby Brown bronzer. This is gorgeous. This is literally my favorite bronzer. It has a slight shimmer to it, but literally like when it's on, you can't even really like tell that it has shimmer. It just looks healthy and glowy on your skin. So I'm just gonna pop some of this through the crease of my eye. I've not actually applied this one on my eyes yet either. I love just putting bronzer on the eyes when you like don't know what to do. It gives a nice subtle shimmer. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. Can you see it has like a little bit of a sheen to it? Build that up a little bit more. And where the concealer's not set, like you can literally just dab over that. It's so nice. So yeah, we went up to London. We went to Estee Lauder head office. That was literally like two three weeks ago now i want to say two weeks ago and then we've got some more training in august just before like my birthday so that will be really good i couldn't believe like how luxurious the building was like amazing got to go in the bobby brown pro store as well which was so nice because there's like a build that just walked past my window and then i'm gonna move on to my foundation for my foundation the lightest foundation i actually have at the moment which is still got a nice yellow undertone is my mac pro longwear i'm gonna mix it i think i'm gonna mix a bit of my ex1 foundation with it they are still quite like dark but i'm gonna blend it down my neck foundation brush i'm gonna use is my morphe m439 I'm just gonna pop that all over my face and um, i literally hardly like apply any foundation to my hand i literally just do like one pump of each foundation I literally with this brush I don't tend to pat over most areas like I used to to give a fuller coverage I'm literally just like stippling the product in I'm really just working it into the skin just because I want this to look more sort of skin like and not too heavy especially where it's summer like I don't want real heavy thick look as you can see it's a little bit too dark for me at the moment but I'm going to down on it I just always love having a warmer foundation because I love having a tan. But as I said, I scrubbed my tan off earlier, so just making up for it. It's not that much darker than me. It's just like a little bit, like a little bit warmer. Once I've got all the other products on my skin, it'll be fine. As you can see, it does. it's not too like matte either. And having that face base underneath just gives a nice face. I don't want to apply too much to my head either just because I get these sort of like lines here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm then going to go back in with my Tarte Concealer. Just because it's a good shade. That under my eyes. Sort of doing little strokes of it. Just because I want it to look a bit more natural. Grab my Morphe sponge. Blend that in. Again, I don't want my eyes to look too highlighted either. And instead of taking the sponge up here, I'm just patting that in with my finger. Just so I don't get like an obvious line. 
I don't spend as much time on my makeup as I used to, which I think is really good because I used to sit there for like ages, like putting like a full face on. Like, don't get me wrong, I still love like a dramatic look. I just find that certain ways you can apply your makeup can really cut the time in half. As you can see, like we're almost done. Like then, I've not tried this product before. I don't know if I want to. When I was in London, I got this Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Foundation stick with a few other products that I got. And what it is, is a contour and a foundation. The foundation is very dark, as you can tell, but I'd probably always just use it like for contour or something. The contour. I might actually use the foundation as contour today. So like just to sort of bronze. I just want a little bit of a bright base for my bronzer. As you can see, it's very dark. Just as you're gonna dab it like that. This color came with like the set that I got though, so I don't know. <laughs> then gonna grab my foundation brush and just blend that into my skin. Doing patting motions with this just because I don't want to move the product. Yeah, it's quite a nice color actually when it's blended in. I don't. I never really sort of contour. Like I don't ever use like a grey like shadow or anything I just always bronze as you would know if you watched like my videos but I just love having colour to my face I find like I could literally wear like no eye makeup but as long as I had a really good base I'd be happy my camera is that's giving me a really nice colour really like that nice I'm going to add some powder the powder I'm going to use is my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I need to order a good powder, but I don't know which one. One of my best friends from H&M actually got me a little Boots gift card and I keep meaning to purchase a powder with it. I either want to get the Fenty Beauty powder or I want to get the Beauty Bakery flower powder. So please let me know which one I should get because I don't know which one is the better one. All I'm going to do is set under my eyes. I'm just going to go over and make sure there's no creasing and just set under there and down my nose. The places that I don't want creasing and that uh, my oil sort of come through throughout the day. I'm sure it's so hot outside. But yeah, I've just been so stuck. I'm just going to set my forehead as well. So stuck for ideas because I've just been sort of filming vlogs because I've not really had the time to sit down and film like a video. And when I want to film a video, I want to film like a true crime video. Please ignore this messy. Um, because I love filming them. It's just they take so long to research everything, like every bit of information. I'm gonna then... So guys, as you can see, I've just put some lashes on. I actually had like a big box of like lashes and I don't know which ones they are. I think they're the Jasmine ones from uh, Doll Beauty that FullSightLashes.co.uk kindly sent me because the other lashes in there look quite old. <laughs> so I'm, I think they're the, these ones, but I believe they are, they're, they're stunning. So I haven't actually worn lashes in so long because at Bobby we don't really wear lashes. We just normally tend to wear mascara, but I thought as I'm off today, I'll add some lashes to my look and I've got my two mascaras that I usually wear. I usually wear the eye opening all the time or I love the smoky eye mascara. But I've also got the no smudge mascara as well because this is waterproof. So it's great for the summer. So I'm going to pop some of the eye opening on. I wear this when I've got no lashes on. I'm just literally going to run this underneath my lashes just to merge the fake ones and my own lashes together. I'm not going to apply too much of this to my false lashes because this is a really thickening mascara brush is quite thick as well but when i saw this brush i was a bit scared by it but i literally love it it's like my favorite mascara for full lashes the smoky eye i would say is they're like my two favorites and then for my bottom lashes i'm gonna add some of the snow smudge mascara underneath my eye i love the intensifying eye opening mascara intensifying intensifying long wear mascara but i haven't yet bought that but I've used it so many times at work. It's actually the most perfect mascara for bottom lashes. Depends what you go for. I just love a bit more volume. Whereas the intensifying is more for like separation and length. But I have quite long lashes anyway. So on the top I just need to sort of thick them up a bit. But the bottom 
I love that mascara. I love the no smudge because it's waterproof. The brush is very similar to the smoky eye mascara. Ta-da! I just think like mascara just changes your whole look. Like sometimes I do like my base makeup and then I just think oh and then I pop a little bit of mascara on and my whole face is just different. I hope you guys like enjoy seeing another makeup video from me because like I said I haven't done one in a very long time. Off again on Friday so I might film one then. Our spare room we share so Craig has his computer and that over in that corner. This is my sort of area where my desk and that is. We have our sofa bed that is like our sofa for this room in front of me and then over in the other corner that's my corner for like my makeup storage obviously we have our lounge as well but sometimes it's a bit awkward when we're both home because he likes to play on that the xbox and he has that like on his computer desk like under his computer desk abby and aiden are coming down towards the end of august so we can both see them like before my birthday and that but they're staying with us for a couple of days so i want to try film like a video with abby because like we've film like vlogs and that together but we haven't actually filmed like a proper sit down video so that'd be fun and she is now engaged as well so literally it's gonna be like so amazing but like, it's so cool to be able to share like this sort of experience with like your best friend so I'm so excited my hair's a bit messy I need to sort that out I'm gonna line my lips I'm gonna use the lip liner spiffy by morphe which is one of my favorites I love the morphe lip pencils that's because I just sort of like overdraw my lips just because they're not even. Make this bit of the top just a little bit rounder. My friend Megan at work was saying to me like I knew you need to like round your lips off a little bit more. Whereas like before I was just like drawing over this bit. And it's like change my lips forever. As you can see it just gives it a bit more shape. If I zoom in I'd literally just round that off. Whereas now it just looks so much better. I'm gonna go in with one of my favourite pinky colours which is sandwich pink I love this colour and then I'm gonna pop a bit of my favourite lipstick which is okay I found it I thought I'd lost my favourite lipstick which is the MAC Jamie Genevieve lipstick put that in the centre look at that colour I've actually run out of brow gel as well so I can't really do much with my brows yeah I'm actually just gonna leave my brows like that so that is the makeup look complete I'm gonna set it with the Primer Plus Hydrating 3-in-1 setting spray it's just more of a mist than an actual like spray like you know like some sprays go all over your face this is literally just like a more like a mist you could probably hear it it sounds a lot more gentle i was gonna say yeah i haven't applied like highlighters just because i've got the shimmer brick i just want a subtle glow because i find it sometimes in the sun it can look a bit too much especially because like my oil is like seeping through and i haven't set my face so yeah i'm gonna leave my makeup like this so we just got really nice flawless skin zoom you in and really nice nude lip the pop of pink nice fluffy lashes a nice smoky lash line and a nice bold brow i really like filming in actual lighting too i really hope that you enjoyed this makeup look i hope you enjoyed seeing another sort of makeup style video from me because i have not done one in such a long time it was so nice to film it was just felt like getting back to me again like having some me time to film as you can tell i haven't really drunk that much from my coffee have <laughs> i but I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please let me know of anything you want to see on my channel, whether it be mystery videos, whether it be makeup, or whether it be blog, the vlogs, anything, because I want to get back into this. So I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Take care. Bye.